Hi. This video will show you how I use the Pennsylvania's Unified Judicial System Common Pleas Docket Sheets website. I use it to verify background for people that would like to rent an apartment or a house for me, but you can use it for other reasons. Before we begin, let me tell you that I'm not an attorney, and you have to be careful when relying on information from websites to make a decision about whether to rent to someone. Always abide by fair housing laws. And if you have any questions about information you receive on a website, talk to the applicant or seek out qualified legal counsel. The first time you go to this site, please take a moment to read the disclaimer in the first paragraph on the page. Down below, you'll see a number of fields that you'll have to fill in to do a search. The first is search type. I choose participant name. That allows me to put in a last name and a first name. I've chosen a common name for this example. I chose to let date of birth blank. You can do a search for an individual county in Pennsylvania, but by leaving it blank you'll search all counties simultaneously. You can also choose one of these three types of dockets. I choose criminal first and then I search the other two. When you're satisfied that the fields have been filled in properly, click on Search. Your results will appear below. It may take just a moment or quite a while to get your results. I've already done this search, and because the name I searched for was very common, there are five pages of results. I first look at the column under Party, and I see that there are many names, some with different middle names. When I do an application, I make sure to find out the applicant's middle name from a photo ID, as well as any other names they've used. This allows me to rule out many reports when the applicant's name is common. I also look at the column under date of birth. If my applicant is 25 years old, then this report from 1967 will not be the one I'm looking for. If you let your mouse hover over any of the icons on the left, you'll see that you can download either a docket sheet or a court summary. I choose to download a docket sheet. You'll be prompted as to whether you want to save a PDF or open a PDF on your computer. In the next video, we'll look at what that report looks like and what you can learn from it. The URL for this site will now appear at the bottom of this video.